Following Governor Belu Matawali of Zamfara State's bombshell on Wednesday that he and some other prominent Nigerians have evidence of corrupt practices against the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Abdul Rashid Bawa, notable anti-corruption crusaders in Nigeria numbering over 150 have declared that he can no longer continue to stay in office. Addressing a press conference in Lagos, the group led by Debo Adeniron insisted that it was the standard practice all over the world for officials who have been accused of gross misconduct to step aside while investigations are conducted to ascertain the veracity of the allegations. They maintained that as the standard practice all over the world for officials who have been accused of gross misconduct to step aside while investigations are conducted to ascertain the veracity of the allegations, Bauer must step aside. Our protests will continue to move from one level to the other until climaxes in the mass movement. And when Nigerians agreed with us that, look, it's worth the effort, then they will be overwhelmed. And maybe some of them will run away or uh, submit themselves to the rule of law. The incoming administration is being advised and is being shown some of those, um, some of the, the tasks ahead of it. So that at the end of the day, you know that it should not uh, allow questionable characters to form part and parcel of his government. If he does that, then he's inheriting a kind of, uh, a kind of uh, luggage that may be difficult for it to carry. So we are saying, the earlier we say, this young man should go and rest, the better for every one of us. We should be more concerned to see this poverty, this corruption that is clear and confronting us than to be engaging in trivial matters. They have therefore called for a full probe into the activities of the EFCC on the Bauer, stressing that it is the standard practice all over the world for officials who have been accused of gross misconduct to step aside while investigations are conducted to ascertain the veracity of the allegations. In a speech delivered on behalf of the CSOs, their spokesperson Olufemi Lance Lawson stated that all seized assets by the EFCC must be forensically audited with a view to recovering all assets relooted or auctioned in suspicious circumstances. We demand that the, the presidency to commission an inquiry into the activities of EFCC, its present engagement and happenings within the commission throughout Bauer's stay in office. We demand that the president order an immediate overhaul of the commission where necessary, lobby the National Assembly to amend the EFCC Act to make the structure less prone to high indebtedness and make the chairman answerable to the loss of the land. Since there are already direct allegations against Mr. Bauer, Bauer must step aside for investigations. This is a standard practice all over the world. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.